It is time to jump into the arena with arguably the best win condition inside of the game. Time to play as some splash art. That's all he's doing. He, he, he raged up nothing. He raged up the air. Here is an example of how to time the graveyard appropriately, guys. Once your tanking troop actually crosses the river, hits about this point, that's when you want to drop the graveyard. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. As always, your boy is back in the Clash Royale video, guys. By popular request, we're going to jump into the arena and we're going to break these battles down after with Splash Yard, guys. You can opt in the Knight, but I actually like the Valkyrie version better, guys. Like I said, you got to play this one a little bit slow. It's about counter pushing. Let's go ahead and jump in, get ourselves some dubs. So with this starting hand here, it's not the best. I mean, if you run Tog Rider, we can activate King. We use a Tornado or something. He goes Big Boy Mega Knight. So we're going to play into this. That's pretty expensive. Seven Elixir right there, right? Now we're going to go ahead and get Tombstone down let's get that he goes witch i am gonna go ahead and poison this because again very very expensive the witch will stay in the poison and he goes bats and then here's how awesome this is gonna be right we're gonna go here the tombstone is so good we're gonna go ahead and go bar barrel on the witch take her out and the skeletons will hold that mega knight in place and he goes mirrored bats Bruh. that is not a good play all right so again right here though don't run graveyard this is the time that you would want to play patient that's why i said at the beginning there you got to play a little bit slow dark prince is coming down if we ran graveyard he would have been able to counter it kind of and we would not have been able to defend against this dark prince it would have been an overcommitment. okay so what we got to do here is we're going to go in with this and we might have to tornado this if the baby dragon can't take it down actually i'm not i'm gonna take a little bit of that damage and because he went minion horde at five elixir it makes sense to go ahead and go graveyard and he goes in with the witch so here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and tornado it toward the baby dragon and look at the splash that we get right he can go bats but we're going to get significant damage now we just reset and he goes <laughs> just bar barrel this that's the most valued bar barrel i've ever seen in my career playing clash royale all right so what we're going to do is get a tombstone down the skeletons will help slow that charge down now we might want to save the valkyrie for the mega knight so what we'll do is we're going to slow roll the Ice Wizard here in the back. And another thing you can do too, depending on what your opponent does, if I had Bar Barrel, I would have probably pushed opposite lane with the Bar Barrel. Oh, I got to pay attention here. Let's go in with this. We're going to Poison once again. I love the Poison spell. We're going to go in with the Valkyrie here. I want the Mega Knight to jump on the Valkyrie. And he goes in with that. We're just going to go ahead and Tornado it all in. And the Baby Dragon is going to continue to do work. We can use the Bar Barrel defensively if we need to. He goes in with that. I'm fine with this too go here and then we're going to go ahead and bar barrel this we're going to get a lot of value i'm actually going to poison this though i could have went baby dragon i guess that might have been a better play because then i could have counter pushed with the graveyard but we're still going to be good now what i'd like to do is kind of sync it up to where i have the bar barrel and the graveyard in cycle right so we're going to go here let's get he might go well he has to he's going to go mega knight at the bridge so we're going to look well not at the bridge but close enough right so let's go here I want him to definitely clone it. Let's see, is he going to clone it? Nope, he's not going to clone it yet. We'll do that. We're going to go ahead and tombstone down. We're going to go ahead and get a baby dragon down. Another one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this down. We'll be able to slow it all down. That rage isn't going to help you. Guys, I almost could play blindfolded here with this one, right? Because this is, again, how people play. Now, again, if that barbarian was healthy, I would have went graveyard. Because he's just spending so much elixir. Now, sometimes with graveyards, you might need to poison cycle and things like that. Just play smart. He goes Mega Knight at the bridge. That's that's how they play. They just get desperate. This is why I told you guys, I feel like personally, Mega Knight has ruined the ability for players to get better because they just rely on him too much, right? So let's go Bar Barrel. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go Graveyard. And it's going to most likely hold that Prince in place. He's probably going to go Bats, maybe. He goes in with that. That poison's going to do so much work for us. He's going to take so much damage. I don't think he's going to be able to get Mega... Oh, he is able to get Mega Knight down. So let's bring this over here. We're just going to go ahead and do something like this. Bring it all back. Again, not worried about it. Let's just do this. The Valkyrie's going to shred. It'll hold it in time. We're going to go ahead and poison this. He Look. Look at that. You see what I mean? That's all he's doing. He, he, he raged up nothing. He raged up the air, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go ahead and get a nice wizard down. That's fine. Go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and get a tombstone down. Let's get a baby dragon down. We're going to get a Valkyrie down. And you know what he's going to do, right? He's going to go Mega Knight. We're going to go ahead and just do this. We'll bring it back once again. Let's do this. Are you trying to get tricky, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, ladies and gentlemen. Not even worried about it. Let's go here. You know what I want to do? Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here and hope... I'm going to hope that I can counter push right now. This boy wants that dub. Let's go ahead and just tornado this in, I guess. Sure. Let's poison it. We're going to get a Valkyrie to the tower, and we're going to take it. So I tell you guys all the time, try not to play crossing your fingers, rage, and clone. Mega Knight. Oh, Mega Knight at the bridge. I'm just going to go ahead and barbell this, and we'll be good to go. Let's do that now. Boom. 
he zapped the barbarian. I'm actually going to push opposite lane. I'm going to let this go. I, I want to feel it out, right, guys? I want to feel it out. You don't always have to support something. I want to learn all of my opponent's cards. So he goes mini P.E.K.K.A. All right, we still have the skeletons doing some work. We're going to go... Uh, that's that's fine. We'll go in with the Valkyrie right here. Look at the skeletons. I told you guys, Tombstone's amazing. Now, with this, I think I'm going to go ahead and go Graveyard. And that's because he went Minions. He goes Mega Knight. <laughs> he goes Mega Knight. And it's a level 12. We'll be fine, guys. We're going to do so much work. Look at that. And the Mega Knight jumps backwards. I'm... <laughs> I don't know how to stress it enough, guys. Look at all that damage. All because he's relying on Mega Knight, man. I love the big fella. It is crippled players and getting better at the game. That's it. Because they just rely on him. He's simple, right? All you do is just drop him in the arena. That's all you do. But here's what I want to do, guys. I'm hoping that he defends this. I'm going to go. This is how you would run Barbaro Graveyard. Opposite lane. It starts to tank forward. He's going to give up anyways, but that's how you do it. Opposite side. We're going to take it with the Baby Dragon. And we're definitely going to take it, hopefully, on the other side, too. Because those skeletons will build up. That's what Mega Knight will do. That's exactly what Mega Knight will do to you. All right, let's get into one more, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of want to see something like P.E.K.K.A., not Mega Knights, all right? We're okay, I got to go on Tombstone. Hurry up. Boom. All right, we're good. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes Ghost, okay. All right, all right. Chasing that Ghost around a little bit. Let's get a Valkyrie down. Interesting deck already. He goes in with that, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll let that go. That E-Wizard's going to come close to shutting down that Valkyrie. So now what we'll do is we're going to get an Ice Wizard down. He goes in with a Fireball. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and go a little aggressive here because he went Fireball. We're not going to get significant damage on this, but we'll get enough, right? So he goes in with, oh my goodness gracious. Now I know he's going to scar me too. We might get a little more damage, obviously from the poison. Maybe a couple of Larry Pokes. So now he's going to go in with the Wall Breakers probably. Making him use a lot of Elixir though. All right, there he goes. And he goes Mini Pekka. So we're going to do this. Boom. That's not going to do anything at all. And we're going to clean that up. You see? Crossed his fingers. Mini Pekka Wall Breakers. And then he goes Tesla. Didn't even need the Tesla. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go in with the Bar Barrel. We're going to go in with the Graveyard. Because I already know my opponent, right? And then we're going to go Poison. He goes E-Wizard. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and take out that E-Wizard. Now, at this point, though, because I did commit a lot of Elixir, I got to play nice and patient. I cannot do anything else except for defend. I'm not worried about the E-Wizard. He goes in with the Ghost. We'll go ahead and go here. And then all we need to do is get a Valkyrie down, right? Because the Ghost is going to take out the Ice Wizard. He would have Fireballed anyways. Now we have a mini counter push going, right? He can go ahead and log that. It's fine. We're back to Bar Barrel with the Graveyard once again. He goes in with the Fireball. That was a not great play. So we'll go here and here. Got Poison in Cycle. This is such a great cycle for us. Let's go in with this. He can go in with the E-Wizard once again. We're going to continue to chip. And po okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go here and then here. Bring it all back. Once again, those Skeletons will do so much work. I'm telling you. Not worried about it, ladies and gentlemen. What's the Fireball? Let's go again. We're going to do it. He can keep going Tesla. It's not going to work for you, my man. You can go in with the... Go in with it again. We're going to keep on chipping. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to try to fireball cycle, I guess, is what he's doing. And log. <laughs> I feel like you're playing 2.6 or something. All right, so let's go here with it. Let's go here with it. Yep. Sorry, you missed it. All right, let's go here. And that is he missed the tower, right? Now we're going to go in with this. We're going to let this all go. He goes Tesla there. That Valkyrie's going to do a lot of work. He goes in with that. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Valkyrie gets shot off. We're going to go ahead and take that Tesla out. We're going to do... What are the wall breakers doing? Wow. All right. Is that mini Pekka coming again? We're going to... Okay. No, he's going that way. Okay, let's go here. We're going to put the tombstone on the... Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go here. We got the ice wizard. We got all kinds of great defense, guys. We're going to go in with it once again. Boom and a boom. Let it go. He can go E-Wizard. Let's go here with it. Going to take out that Tesla a little bit faster. The baby dragon will eventually start tanking. There we go. Look at all that splash damage, guys. Let's go here. Mini Pekka. Let's go here. Boom, boom, boom. I actually wanted to put it on the inside. Totally forgot, though. Look at this, guys. Good, good to go. It's just poison cycle now. You got tornado, too, right? Let's go ahead and get a nice wizard down. He can go fireball if he'd like. And we will do it well. No, let me go here, right? We're going to go ahead and poison. Oh, I missed. He did that. I totally missed the tower, guys. All right, I'm just playing around, huh? Let's go here, then here. And then we're going to go Valkyrie. Good try, though. And then we're going to go ahead and go... I can't believe I missed the tower. He fireballed the Baby Dragon. All right, let's go here. Let's get that poison down. We're going to go ahead and Tornado, too, as well. Make sure we take this tower. We should take it, guys. I've never seen anyone really do that. 
Let's get a poison down. GG's. Peace out. Fun battle. Remember that Graveyard is a counter-pushing, play-patient kind of a deck. You get away for your opportunity. My opponent was so aggressive. I obviously have a poison down here. He dropped the bats late, but he has a Mega Knight and a Witch going. It tells me a lot about how I need to counter it. Not only that, my poison was probably MVP inside of this battle. I've said this before, Tombstone is super, super strong. It basically shuts down this Mega Knight. And then we have the Bar Barrel. This is the point of the screenshot. Do not forget that you can use the Bar Barrel to shut down the Witch. It is one of the best Elixir trade values inside of the game. Counter pushing, as I had mentioned before, we did that exactly with the Baby Dragon, whether you drop it back here, the Ice Wizard, or the Valkyrie to March, and or defend. If you have the Elixir and your opponent has used a lot, and you know that you can punish, that is exactly what you want to do. In this case here, he dropped the Witch to try to counter the Graveyard. I already had the Baby Dragon crossed and tanking, and then I dropped the Tornado. You guys want to do that. It brings the Witch in right here, and we basically splash all this, guys, to get a ton of damage. I had to throw this in, guys. This was the most value I've ever seen, I feel like, in my life. He cloned the Witch. And one, two Elixir Barbarian Barrel shut that entire thing down. Again, guys, don't play that way. Manage your Elixir. My opponent definitely did not do that. Mega Knight and Witch inside of the poison. And then he mirrors the Witch. We have a Valkyrie that's going to hold this in place. We have a Baby Dragon and an Ice Wizard that's going to splash and slow it down. Guys, we're going to be good to go. It's going to go ahead and shut this down. And if Mega Knight did make it over, we're going to be able to get a Tombstone down. And then basically wait, reset, and then try to build up our push and or counter push another attack. It is really important to know when to drop Graveyard. Whatever troop you are using to tank for the Graveyard, once it hits right about here, that's when you drop it because there's a small delay in when the skeletons actually spawn. And ideally, if it is Baby Dragon, you want to be able to get in this scenario where obviously we have a poison going, but you want the Baby Dragon to splash not only on the tower, but also the troops that are trying to defend against the Graveyard. Guys, in this case, it was perfect. If you can't get in the scenario, you can obviously use the Tornado to suck everything in. My opponent was actually trying to do something very strategic here. He was trying to block the river from any of these troops from crossing to tank for the graveyard but we already had it down and i'm not 100 percent sure if the arena tower is actually targeting the baby dragon or not but regardless he dropped that seven elixir here he obviously a full health level 12 mega knight but we're going to be able to shut this down and obviously get a tombstone down as well but we got a lot of damage because we already had the accumulation of the skeletons not the best play by my opponent we have the royal ghost here and we're obviously taking it out with the valkyrie but he drops an electro wizard right here and he can't support it. He can't do anything with it. I mean, he's going to hold the Valkyrie, but why not drop the Electro Wizard back here? By the time it gets here, the Valkyrie will get here. The Arena Tower will help, and he can build up Elixir to drop more troops. He instead drops the Electro Wizard, which basically goes and battles the Valkyrie and just gets no value. Just another example of my opponent just crossing their fingers, hoping I can't defend it. He did it a number of times, guys. I only want to share these kinds of things. I really honestly want you to get better at the game. But dropping wall breakers, mini P.E.K.K.A. and crossing your fingers and just hoping it works is not going to allow you to get better at the game. We were easily able to shut this down a number of times during battle. Counter pushing with the Baby Dragon and the Barbarian Barrel is obviously really, really good, especially paired with the Tornado when it comes to the Baby Dragon for that splash. But guys, if you can definitely shut something down with the Valkyrie on this side and you have the Elixir for it and you can get her to the tower and she's tanking for the Graveyard, guys, and if you can get a Poison down, guys, it's going to be GG's. That tower is going to go down. And that's going to do it for this detail breakdown, guys. Again, keep those comments down below coming. I always love to help. Thank you again for all the continued support. Until the next video, guys, take care. Peace out.